Hi. Let's let bless this Facebook Live in success for everyone who watches this evening. Let's baptize it in blessing and abundance for everyone who joins in with the live this evening. So when you tune in, make sure you give me a wave, let me know you're watching, say hi. While we're waiting for more people to join, I'm going to be playing um, a track from The Mystical. Um, I believe we played a track from Mystical last week. We're going to be working with a Healing Portal. Um, hi, Sunita. Please do say hello if you're watching. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, Jean. I'm going to be working with one of my cards this evening. Um, yeah, we're going to be working with the energy and vibration of a goddess again. Although this is the portal we're going to be working with. Um, hi, Claire. Hi, Kate. It's very much about... Um, uniting the sacred divine feminine and masculine but we will be concentrating a little bit more on the feminine because we're going to be working with the goddess Lakshmi. Uh, there's a lot of abundance in this in this portal so I'm just gonna let the music play for a little bit longer and say hi as everyone sort of says hi and um, I'm gonna get you working this evening but while we're waiting for people to join us let me know how you've been Caroline you're watching that's awesome let me know how you've been because the energies have been incredibly intense um, we are still in this space, those of us that, have hit, that are here, that have come to make a difference, we're in this space where we're still getting our buttons pressed and we're still getting tested. Um, so did anybody, hi Ali, did anybody get tested this week? Oh, I've got an itchy nose. That means I've got a surprise. <laughs> I've had loads of abundance coming my way. I won a gift. I entered this competition um, on a radio show with um, with Elis Elizabeth. And I won this necklace. I won the competition because I answered the most questions right. <laughs> and I've also won a um, a reading tomorrow with Felicia. She reads with unicorn cards, so that would be really cool. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling really blessed. Loads of like blessings have been coming my way, things like this. I did get tested the other day. So has anyone else been tested? Um, Joan, you're saying a tough couple of weeks. Hi, Stuart. Hola. <laughs> or should we say, what is it in French? Um, bonsoir. <laughs> Um, and Karen, very drained, body aching. Well, I have been getting knocked out every single day this week. My guides have knocked me out and it's like I wake up as though I've had an anaesthetic. To be fair, I have been listening to some of my own sound stuff, so that might have something to do with it. That's increasing the sort of knocked out feeling. But if you are feeling drained and you've got time to take time out to have a nap, then do so. Don't push yourself too much. So you've felt intense energies also, Claire. Um, Sunita's felt very emotional. 
you know, something really weird. I've always been incredibly emotional, incredibly, um, all my life, like cried at the drop of a hat. And after studying Pelua in March, something just shifted in me. I'm so much more sort of centered. And if I do get tearful, I know that there's something going on. Headaches, Ali's been um, feeling headache as well, I think drains. Um, yeah, a lot of people aching at uh, the, the back. So the back is um, often, it's linked to our nervous system. And I do feel that a lot of us are having our nervous systems rebooted and that can make us drained and that can really affect our back. Um, so Julie's been feeling it too. Yes, a planetary alignment's going on. This is true. And um, now I'm really bad at remembering the names, but there is a planet that's been downgraded. It's no longer a planet. Um, it's called something else now. <laughs> but this has gone into, this has gone direct. And this is the wounded healer. I was My friend sent it to me and um it's quite interesting so i might post that in the awaken the angel within group and then anyone that wants to read it you can read it in there um so basically the wounded healer i have met so many wounded healers over the last 20 years oh and stuart's got back issues too hi wendy we're just talking about the wounded healer there's a lot of us who are healers, therapists, um, you know, practitioners of some sort. We really are being called now to look at our wounds. Jeans, oh, Joan, sorry, Joan's had a left ear playing up all week. I've had funny pains in my right ear, but my ears got tuned in um, about 10 years ago to Claire Audience. So sometimes with our ears, it can be that that's going on. So I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. So um, I just got the track queued up that we're going to be working with tonight. Because although I'm really enjoying doing the radio show, some of my work is quite visual because I created some healing portals. And each portal goes with one of the tracks of music that myself and Marcus have created. So um, Chiron, yes, thank you. Thank you, Smita. I, I thought it was Chiron, but I couldn't remember exactly. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. So thank you, Chiron, the Wounded Healer, or Chiron. Um, so, yeah, if you want to read about that and you're in the group, I'll put it in there. If you're not in the group and you want to join the group, just get in touch with me and I'll send you a link so that you can join the WhatsApp group. So, John, you're watching. Nice to see you, John. So... I think we've all established that we are indeed feeling the energies. So the Chiron or Chiron is forcing us to go deep into our wounds and we don't have to relive them. So it's not a case of going in and reliving every painful detail, but it's about going into the wound and realising what maybe the original cause of that wound was. Because this is how I've spoken about narcissists before. Um, narcissists too are wounded empaths, wounded souls, who just have decided to rather than do their own healing, they want to blame it on everybody else. So they sort of take the victim, they pretend that they're the victim and um, they just don't bother looking at their own healing. So everyone here tonight, you're all looking at your own healing. You're all looking at your own self-development. And that's really important. You know, we never stop healing. The day we stop healing, we are in another dimension and we are healing in a different way. So, oh yeah, have you noticed I've had my hair cut? <laughs> 
I was so excited to get my hair cut. Um, it's been four long months and my hair was literally wonky. <laughs> so anyway, enough about me. I've noticed that it really is time now that we start looking at tonight's portal. Now, we're going to do a few different things tonight. But simply by looking at the portal, you'll be receiving healing. By having the music and listening, you'll be receiving healing. But also I want you to use your third eye because depending on what you sense, see, feel or know in the picture will indeed give you an idea of what it is. <laughs> it is a bit Marilyn, isn't it? <laughs> we both love Marilyn, don't we, Ali? <laughs> um, so it will give you an idea of what um you're seeing in the car in this picture will give you an idea of i'll give you an interpretation for it basically so there's lots in here me and mum have been looking at it today and there is so much in here so i'm going to move it forwards so you can all see it so i'm going to keep it here for now and i'm just going to turn up the music a little bit and just breathe into it Breathe into the portal. Notice the energy. And just listen to the words of the song. And I'm going to turn the picture. Mystical mother and father, we invite you to the dark of the sacred flame. Unify your hearts. Shiva and Shakti dance as one. Twin flame in holy union. The tantric rivers ebb and flow with mystical waters blessed release the need to be in control flow flow rivers flow <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just sort of have it here. Hi, Panna. Nice to see you. So um, in case you missed the start, we're looking at the portal tonight and we are seeing what we sense, see, feel or know is in the picture. Now, before I start saying what me and my mum see, just if you've seen anything or felt anything, just write it down so that I get an understanding of what people are seeing, um, sensing, feeling. Remember, it's not always about what you see because some people just feel or just know the energy within it. Um, so write down what you're seeing and I'm going to tell you a few of the things that we saw. I'm not going to be able to point them out because it's too complicated now <laughs> so i'm just going to say that in this we saw um two shaman like two native american men yes lots of angels katie <laughs> we saw lots of angels in here and also lots of birds blue birds in particular and seraphim so the seraphim are the angels that sing to creator um, yeah, there's lots of people. And the last supper scene, wow, that's amazing that you see that because you see, everyone will see a family, a spiritual team. Yep. You will see 
what you're ready to say, basically, or you will feel what's right for you. Angels and Ascended Masters, yes. Big Bear, an owl, an eagle, fish, a fairy on a horseback. And what else was there? Oh, there was a cottage and smoke coming out of the chimney. Two people sitting on a dolphin. And I think that's amazing that you're, that you're seeing the Last Supper. I'm, I'm going to have to have another look afterwards. And um, that's, that's so cool. So a train and a boat. So if you're seeing a train and a boat in the picture, that would indicate that you're going to be going traveling and if you're seeing um the big bear that would indicate that you need to think about protection a little bit more if you're seeing the two people on the dolphin that means that a soulmate relationship is coming your way or maybe you're already in a soulmate relationship um, also, we saw a nun, but I think the nun was actually Saint Augustine, and she was a nun who became a saint, and she wrote, uh, she spoke to Jesus in a very mystical way, and funnily enough, the track is called The Mystical, and I painted this whilst listening to The Mystical, so that's quite interesting. If you see the fairy on a horse, or you see the unicorn, then, you know, you're seeing the magic and wonder in life and you're connecting with your inner child. Um, eyes, Indian, Cleopatra. Yeah. So everyone sort of, oh, mermaids. Yes, yes, I saw the mermaids too. I forgot to write that one down. Um, so you sort of connect with what you're open to connect. And a bit like Jean's cards, these are working with you and where you are. So, yeah, Heidi sees a unicorn too. So, I don't know. Did you enjoy doing this this way, working this way with me? Because I sort of like feel that what I'm doing, it's not just about me being, you know, I'm here being the expert. I'm sort of like holding a space for us all to be together and for everyone to work with their own spiritual eyes and you know feeling from their hearts turtles yes lots of water but at the beginning of the song it says we are water so there is a lot of water in here and water and um works with so abundance and water sort of go together as well so a lot of people in feng shui um have water fountains to increase prosperity in their homes and we were going to sort of, uh, a wolf, yes. You love it, good. So you're all, hopefully, <laughs> you've all enjoyed working with this this evening. I've got um, another like, message that I channel to go with this. And then we're going to do um, a little meditation as well. And the healing from the meditation will be working with the energy. Yes, it is good turning the card around because you do see more. So if you just keep it in one position, you will see less. So I'm going to read the message out to you now. It's time for you to step into deep inner peace, dear one. For it is only when you connect to the peace in your heart and mind that you can be fully present with the pure, loving presence around you. When you connect to the aspect of the divine within you, you will be the sovereign of your life. You wear the golden crown, a halo of light that connects you to creator and beckons to the celestial beings to work with you. Choose peace and allow the feminine and the masculine energy to dance together as one in holy union. You will glow with the universal life force energy. Release the need to be in control and allow your angelic self to guide you, 
flow with the rivers of peace. So there's a lot of water in here. Ah, you get so much from my voice. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, what was I going to say? The angelic self. So, um, I've talked about the angelic self before. I guess it's another interpretation of your higher self. It's just that I had my own personal experience where my angelic self stepped forward and out of me <laughs> into a room amongst other psychics and mediums and healers and it was like she wanted to be known and seen and that's part of my work is I want everyone to connect to that own light within them and whether or not you see it as an angel or a mermaid or a fairy or a unicorn or an aspect of the Christ however you visualize that sovereign being within you that divine piece of you that's what my work's about it's about empowering people um i also you know want to get people to use their voice as well so we could now use our voices together with a mantra and i wrote this mantra down this is actually in my book I haven't had published yet because um, I start so many projects <laughs> um, and the, the mantra is my conscious, subconscious and super conscious minds are all focused on my angelic self and the light of the creator. I bless my angel within as the coordinator of my abundance. I place my faith in the knowing that I receive the abundance from Creator. I am guided to take only benevolent actions leading to benevolent outcomes. Now I know that most of us are going to be having some concerns over our finances and abundance. So rather than worrying about it in our minds, when we ask the angel within us to take control, things start flowing. And I started doing this as an experiment back in February. The 1st of February, I started this 40 day abundance thing. Me and mum did it together. Um, I started working with my portals myself. I started working with the mantras and things really changed for me. I really found that um, my life changed and it wasn't just because of this, but it was I was no longer in control and things were coming my way, like the Pelua, for instance, um, the Pelua popped out. I went and trained to do the Pelua, and then that had a big shift. And then all through lockdown, I've been so blessed. You know, my son created me the new website. I've been really busy with clients doing sound therapy. The radio show came to me, and my life's been flowing. And that's not because I've been working from my mind, but I've been working from the angel within. She's been doing the work. Georgie, the um, <laughs> Georgie, the warrior, has had like months off, and I'm continuing to make sure that she stays that way. So we could do a prayer together, and then we're going to do the meditation. So again, the prayer I've already pre-written. The prayer is: I pray, dear Creator, to be free from fear, pain and uncertainty. Help me please to release my ego's control and reign. I surrender my heart, my body and soul to you. Show me and guide me to my divine path so I may be true. Now you can say a similar prayer in your own words. 
but the intention behind the prayer is to surrender our control, our limited mind's control. We are surrendering that and we are allowing the angel within us to take the lead. Okay. So let's do the meditation now. Um, if you want before, I'm just going to get the music ready because we were listening to the music that goes with this, but it's not the best music to play in the background for a meditation. I'm actually going to play something else. I'm actually going to play. Da -da 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 -da. What am I going to play? I'm going to play from the Guardians. I'm going to play Loving Presence. And I am going to ask you to just jot down how you're feeling at this precise moment in time. If you're feeling great already, that's awesome. Or you can jot down what it is you would like to get from the meditation. I'm hoping, praying that everyone gets some healing from the meditation. But also that you are um, able to surrender to the angel within you and fully let go so just now make that int intention make the intention of surrendering to the angel within you surrendering to creator surrendering to love wow so claire's feeling energized that's brilliant. I do believe the music's energising and this is quite an energising. So I know it's like fairly late in the UK, but um, I'm guessing most of you were going to get energised, but then have a nice sleep. And of course, in New Zealand, the is going to be going off to work soon. So connecting into the music, the loving presence, I invite you now to surrender and allow all that's ready to flow to you, allow it to flow to you. Very nicely put, Stuart. So it's time to close your eyes, but know that you're going to be stepping into this portal. Okay, You're going to be stepping into a portal using these colours. So closing your eyes now. And step into the portal of aqua and green light and as you step into this portal allow creator to breathe into the cells of your body allow the turquoise and the aquamarine light and the blue rays to fill your minds with this light and with the breath of Creator. And allow the light to travel into the three minds, into your conscious, subconscious and superconscious minds. Cleansing, clearing and aligning allowing the superconscious mind to calm the subconscious mind. That superconscious mind is the part of you that is connected to the angel within and is connected to creator. So feel that shift now around your head. Feel the shift around your head now. As you surrender to the turquoise, green and blue rays of light. And allow yourself to breathe 
breathe in creator's light. Breathing in the light of creator. Into every cell of your body. Inviting your I am presence to be with you. Feeling creator's love and light in your heart. And this is indeed balanced divine. Feminine and masculine. And now feel that energy. Feel how you are being energized right now. Because we have all been feeling drained. This now is our chance to get energised. To be energised from the inside out as we breathe in Creator's light. Sense, see, feel or know that you are being flooded with this light and love of Creator. Breathe it now in and out into your auric field. Feel your auric field expanding. And know that anything that is not from unconditional love is now being released. For the love, the unconditional love of Creator is the most powerful of all healing. Breathe it out further into your auric field. And know that the love of Creator is igniting you, igniting your angelic self, your divine presence. And I'm being guided to do a little bit of sound. And this is going to be a new sound that it might sound a little bit different. And everyone will probably perceive it in their own way. Notice how that resonated with you. And I'm more than happy for you to be completely honest with me. So feeling that energy that was transmitted then. Feeling that in the cells of your body. Notice how it made you feel. And begin to bring your attention back to your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And yeah, feel free to um, say how the sounds were and how you feel after that little meditation, that healing. Um, I'm also going to put a link in here for the track 
your presence, uh, sorry, loving presence. That's what we were listening to. So if you feel that you need a bit of calm, in fact, I'm just going to put it on my page. I'm going to put loving presence on my Georgie G. Dean page and you can listen to that um, and you'll feel a reconnection, if you like, to the sounds that I was just sharing with you. A shift in your abdomen, like something lifted. Awesome. Did anybody sense what that vibration was? What was coming through my voice when I started singing? Shifting energy, lots of yawning and eyes watering. Good. Sounds like we've had some shifts. Um, that's wonderful. And while some of you are still typing what you felt, sensed, saw during the meditation and during the sound, I'm just going to remind you about the Mary Magdalene. Um, it's a pre-recorded event, basically. So um, it's a meditation. It's a blessing, sound activation. It will be an hour. I will be recording it high quality on my laptop with my good mic. And um, if anybody's interested, I know a fair few of you have already signed up for it, but I'm going to be sending out the preparation this Wednesday. It costs £13 if anybody wants to um, sign up for it. And then the following week, I will be sending out the actual meditation to be done on Mary Magdalene's feast day which is the 22nd of July. So um, I will be sharing it to um, Deirdre, will be the first person to hear it because she's in New Zealand. So I'll send it to her on the Monday evening, sorry, on the 21st, the Tuesday evening, because it will be the 22nd for her. And then everyone else, you will get it on the 22nd UK time or America time and you'll listen to it then and that's when I'm going to listen to it because Mary Madeline wants us to listen to it on the 22nd on her feast day okay it's strict instructions so it's like having um, a zoom online workshop but you're all going to listen to it in the comfort of your own home in the in your own time as long as you listen to it on the 22nd so um, anyone's interested in that, I will put, um, I will give you the link to the details for that. So sound felt comforting. OK, cool. That's good, because I was going to say if it felt uncomfortable to anybody, it's because it's bringing up a wound to heal. <laughs> and sometimes we have to acknowledge the uncomfortableness. So, but it seems as though everyone was sort of getting more energised. So Stuart said he felt heavy and felt and saw a lot of faces, men with beards, probably a scenes, potentially. Um, and I am also going to be sharing an event. I'm not running it. I am going to it. It's an event in the southwest of France. Uh, it's an Essene inspired um, event and I'm just going to post the link to that on my page tomorrow and then you can look into it. I'm going um, 8 September. I'm really excited. Julie, um, when you sung I had a person appear, looked like an Oscar statue but in the shade. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I would love to get an Oscar for, <laughs> for making music for a film. <laughs> but I doubt that's what you saw. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting how different people perceive the energy in different ways. You know, I have Mother Mary with me. And um, people on a certain spiritual level will say, oh, you've got Mother Mary with you. And then other people will say, oh, you've got a nun with you. <laughs> so we all perceive things differently and that's fine. That's that's what life's all about. So um, any questions before I say good night and thank you so much for joining me. 
Um, I felt really, really tired and drained today. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this, but as soon as I sat down, um, the energy just came and I feel like I've been energised by sharing this with everybody. So thank you for being there so I could share it. Um, ah, Julie, it's a premonition for me. Yeah! <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm actually having a reading tomorrow. I said this at the beginning. I won a reading um, with a lady called Felicia and um, I basically shared her page and her work and I won the prize. Yay. So I will share again and let you know how it went. You're welcome, Claire. I'm glad you're all, uh, well, I hope you're all feeling better for that and more energised and um yeah if you want to join the angel group message me or send me um send me a message <laughs> probably the easiest thing um blessings karen thank you thank you ali <laughs> um i love to give i do love to give and i do love to receive as well so um we all need to give and receive that's part of the cycle and um yeah really lovely evening everybody um you're welcome julie you are so welcome and i think i've said everything i need to say apart from tuesday um on the radio um that's serenity radio so again if you're in my angel group on whatsapp i send out reminders so um it is pretty cool um you'll get a reminder so lots of love Mwah. thank you so much the angel in me honors the angel in you and i'm glad you like my hair <laughs> bye night night everyone thank you lots of love